What's going on guys, it's Delvidge, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can improve your YouTube thumbnails for literally zero dollars. Whatever software you're using, it really doesn't matter whether you're using Photoshop or Affinity or Linity or whatever the hell it's called, Designer, uh, it's not going to matter because this tip is going to apply universally to however you're creating your designs. The purpose of this video is to get your YouTube videos more views. That's what better thumbnails are going to do in conjunction with the title and the content. But again, that thumbnail is the first thing that people see when they're scrolling on their feed. Before this video does begin, make sure to drop a like rating down below. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. And then also, if you want to go ahead and purchase my comprehensive thumbnail assets pack on my store, you can go ahead and pick that up for 10 bucks. And that's gonna give you a bunch of different effects and tools to use in your thumbnails that are going to allow them to stand out a little bit more. So the topic of today's video has been on my mind for a little while while now. A lot of you guys come to me with questions either on Twitter or here on YouTube asking how you can improve your YouTube thumbnails and get more views. Designing thumbnails is a skill part of graphic design. It's not something that you're inherently born with. You have to learn how to do it. So what we're going to be talking about today is called contrast and it's a very popular term in film and design. Essentially what it means is separating the darks from the lights, including more dynamic range in your designs and videos but specifically in our thumbnail I'm gonna be talking about how you can separate your foreground from the background far too many times I see people show me their thumbnail designs or I'm scrolling on YouTube and seeing videos that have very little views and it's because the thumbnails are so bad the text blends in with the background and it makes it completely unreadable one trick that I've been using for the entire time I've been designing thumbnails five plus years now is instead of using your Photoshop or your design software to go ahead and take a look at what that thumbnail is going to look like I want you to save it and I want you to go and open it in your Windows or Mac photo viewer and then I want you to scroll all the way out to the size that you would normally see a YouTube thumbnail in if the text or the subject is still legible or understandable then you're doing a good job but more often than not what I see is that the text at that distance is just so hard to read it's gonna get scrolled over and people are gonna get confused and the last thing that you want to happen to your video is people get confused when they're looking at the thumbnail and then they just scroll past make sure that you have that contrast between your text and the background or your foreground and your background if you're not using any text that's going to help separate the thumbnail from itself include that dynamic range and give people a less confusing structure when they're actually looking at it I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my computer and we're gonna go through a couple of examples to show you what I'm really talking about alright guys we are in Photoshop right now and this is a really good example on screen so as you can see I have a background right here here, and then I also have the text on my thumbnail and unfortunately right now it's really hard to see when you actually zoom out this is going to be the size of the thumbnail when you actually look at it on YouTube relatively speaking plus or minus a few degrees of magnification but again it's too dark and we really need to separate it from the background if we want to catch people's attention so the best way to do that is just change the color and a lot of the time unfortunately changing the color isn't going to work so let's just change this to white and it is a little bit better but the best way to do it when you're working with something like this is to maybe change the darkness or the lightness on the background so you can go ahead and press control U on your keyboard to bring up the hue slash saturation bring down the lightness you can do something like that or alternatively you can just go to the rectangular marquee tool here in Photoshop create a box around the text here create a new layer press control backspace drag that underneath and now the text is going to stand out onto that little box that we just made and it's going to separate it from the backing allowing it to be much more easily legible as users are scrolling on YouTube. There are a couple of other things that I like to do in my thumbnails to make sure that it doesn't confuse and it does catch the attention. If you want to go ahead and see those make sure you leave a comment down below that you want to see those and leave a like rating on this video. If this video reaches 200 likes I will go ahead and make 
make another follow-up video to this that goes through a completely different way and method that I use to make sure my thumbnails are really good quality. Well, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button down below and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications to see when I'm posting new content. And then also a final little message that I want to throw to you guys that have been watching all the way to the end. If you go ahead and click the second link in the description down below, you're going to be taken to a website called thumbnailmasters.com. And that is a business that I'm starting to offer thumbnail design services to content creators like I know a lot of you guys out there are. Essentially what it is, is you pay a flat fee and then I go ahead and design the thumbnail for that video on your specifications. I want to get your guys feedback on that. You can sign up using your email to be notified when the site fully goes live, but I just wanted to throw that in here. Let me know what you think in the comments down below or go ahead and send me a direct message on Twitter. Really looking forward to your guys feedback on that. I think it's going to be super helpful for a ton of you guys out there. But again, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give a little, little, little. But again, thank you for watching the video. Until next time, guys, my name's Delvidge and I'm out. Peace.